Okay everybody, here's a new set that I received today. These are the replacement V2 retracts from RC Castle that I ordered as well. Uh, back when FMS was sending me the replacements there, I went ahead and ordered a set of these. I think they were 50 bucks for a pair. Now these have the micro switch installed on them. I haven't plugged these retracts in yet. This is one, this is the first one. And before I do it, I'm gonna using the same receiver as I did the other day and this battery right here 4.8 volt JR 700 milliamp battery I'm also going to try this from Tower Hobbies which is another receiver battery it's a 6 volt battery 6.6 uh, .6 volt this one's not fully charged but we're going to try this battery too and see if, if this may be causing a problem there shouldn't be any problem since these are rated up to 7.4 volts according to the information I saw on the RC Castle site. Uh, again, so here we go. I've already got the receiver plugged in and it's live. And we're going to plug in the retracts here and extend them. I haven't even, these are these are brand new and haven't plugged them in yet. So, signal, make sure everything's lined up here and plug this into channel 5. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so far no issues. I don't see any smoke. Okay, let's trip them and see if they actually open up. Had to cycle the switch a few times. Seems to be working good. And when I hit this, when I hit the trip switch, it stopped it. You can see the Okay, no smoke check, so these seem to be okay. Back up. Yep, as soon as I hit the switch, it works. As soon as I hit the switch, it works. Reset it, back to normal. Let it go. Yep. Okay, now I'll let it go full travel. All the way up. Okay, this one seems to be okay. Now I'm going to disconnect it and plug in the other one. Here's the other one, right out of the bag. Again, these are the version 2 replacements you can get from RC Castle. Let's set this out here where we can see it. Here's the little switch. Brand new retracts, never been activated. Right now I'm powering these on a 4.8 volt battery just to be on the safe side. I'm going to run these up in a minute on 6 volts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, seems good. I don't see any smoke. Now let's cycle this guy. Heard the motor click. One more cycle. There it is. Seems to be working okay. Let's check the switch. Sure enough, it's working. Yep, as soon as I hit it, it goes off. Yep, this one seems to be okay too. So this looks like it's a good pair of retracks. Okay, good to go. Now, let's try this on 6 volts and see if this may try a problem. Here's a life battery, receiver battery from Tower Hobbies. 3200 milliamps, 6.6 .6 volts. It's not fully charged, but it's a life battery. And I'm going to plug it in and see if there's any problem here. Whoa, instant smoke. So these, these looks like they're not, plug the 4.8 volt battery back in, you can see that it's barely moving, 
This retract's dead. It's smoke checked. Yep, see the smoke coming out of it? Fried the components. So, one of the problems we may have is there, I'm sitting here let, letting it burn up. I'm going to zoom in here. Get my camera kind of reset here. Looks like part of the problem we may have is they're not going to run on 6 volts. So the ESCs, if they're set to 6 volts, which is part of the option on them, is going to cook up these retracks. They won't take the seven point up to 7.4 volts like they said like they said they will. Okay, there we go. Now I've got the 4.8 volt receiver battery back into it again. This retract is dead. It, you can just barely hear it move. The components are completely burned up, but it won't give any any movement at all. You can kind of see the shaft wanting to move there a little bit. Nothing. That's all I get out of it. So this retract's pretty much gone. Okay, I think the six volt problem may be part of the thing that's we're having the problem with these retracts. Because I actually think these are pretty good retracts. Okay, I'm gonna fire this video off to FMS, and hopefully this will help them with with it with their stock and so forth we're going to have to make sure that the voltage on the ESC's or your uh, your BEC that you're using your external BEC you do not want to set them up to six volts because that's what's uh, I think that's probably part of the problem that's cooking up the PCB boards even though they're rated from 4.8 to 7.4 volts is what is stated on the site so a six volt a six volt receiver battery shouldn't have done this at all or setting your BEC to six volts which is all the option that comes with it as well but that may be part of the problem with uh, doing it up along with the faulty components they're not rated up to what they uh, say they are so we'll see if we can get that and they can get that fixed for us and we'll be alright these retracks should be have no problem with the six volt battery Thanks a lot, guys.